Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we have exciting product to review that's the Fullscam 5P version 5P that's a Wi-Fi camera so I heard a lot about Fullscam and I have tried other products uh, UFI Cam, uh, Vuling and uh, EasyViz um, you can see the videos in my description below or pre-subscribe to my channel for other videos and other reviews but today I'm going to review this so let's just go ahead and unbox this and we would have idea how it does it perform so looking at the box it it's uh, compatible with uh, Google Assistant and Amazon and uh, according to my research we don't need uh, NVR because it's Wi-Fi uh, you can have their cloud subscription if you have uh, Synology or any blue iris it works with this so you can have the third-party integration rather than having an NVR and it does support 2.5 and the 5 gigahertz which was main so I'm, I'll go into each of the uh, section as the networks the other feature the physical pieces and also the quality and the app experience so looking at the box uh, this is what we have uh, on the back as you can see we have uh, all the features it uh, it has an AI detection um, night vision IP66 the micro SD card for the local storage so I think um, that's that's a, a step up for the NVR products um, and just the regular box that shows if you want to download the app using a barcode so let's open it up I think I should use this all right so packaging some cushioning the quick guide the mounting templates and the sticker you want to put it on the door or wherever you want to put it okay so this is the weatherproofing piece some mounting screws and the anchors and we have the 12 volt DC adapter and Ethernet cable if you are trying to hook it up with the NVR I'm not sure if it is PoE it doesn't say anywhere if it's PoE although it did support ethernet i don't know if we can power it on i have to check uh it does not say poe powered yep it doesn't say poe but i can confirm with the customer support i had pretty good uh things about their customer support so uh but for my uh, setup, I had the existing uh, analog cameras, which have BNC connectors and some uh, 12 volt DC adapters. So I'll use that power to power them on and also use the Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, functionality to connect it to my network. All right, so it should have the antenna as well here it is so here's the antenna that screws here all right so let's talk about the build quality first so it does have uh, IP66 rating and uh, on the back it has this 
speakers and also reset button which is underneath that and uh, those LED lights and the main lens and it does cover uh, 110 degree horizontal view and it's a 5 uh, megapixel uh, lens which does cover uh, 2072 pixel by 1728 and uh, the lens type is f4 uh, mm and f2.0 and uh, let's turn it on so let me plug that power adapter in all right plug it into the power socket and we are going to plug that in let's take it out of the way put all the accessories as we are not mounting it yet and let's go and see how we can actually add it into the app all right so it doesn't illuminate any um, light here so the only way you would know that it is getting the power is through this ethernet i don't know if you guys can see it here you go. yep that's actually amber light showing that it's not connected it's not receiving and transferring something because we haven't connected to the Wi-Fi all right so it does say something it says welcome to the Foscom and let me actually change the view so you can Wi-Fi configuration okay so going through the uh, setup so once you download this uh, Foscom app you would see this in your home screen so i already have one set up this is the second camera i'm trying to set up so you hit on add and that's where it shows you, you want to add cameras the nvr and the alarm kit so i'll do the camera and it asks you to scan the barcode on the back so let me actually scan oh it did pop up pretty quick i have heard hello fools cam no i didn't uh, power the device until yes i did receive that hello first come greeting when we actually turn that on so hit next yes that's that's my wi-fi all right so it says generate qr code and bring that in front of the camera let's do that wi-fi connecting okay i have heard the prompt twice so it looks like it's adding and the other thing it's blinking although we haven't connected an ethernet cable so let's connect it but i really like the quality the material if you have wireless connection succeeded okay so it's successful if you have seen other outdoor cameras i have tried the easy uh easy viz ufi cameras this quality and they are none uh, for their outdoor cameras uh, and this is really good so where i'm gonna put it let's call it patio all right save the device qr code all right so let's see if it sees anything okay i have to create the password all right let's see all right all right so it does show me the view it's pretty neat 
okay so it's saying that enjoy the cloud plan for free for 30 days okay confirm I don't have the SD card but here's the here's the camera menu when you click it so that's basically to capture the screenshot that's the audio that's the recording of the video okay how do I turn that off okay uh, and then if you click those three dot motion detection and the sound detection off so motion detection it does say motion detection device side object detection motion detection uh, alarm and alarm and movement is detected human detection vehicle detection sensitivity is low right now let's uh, put it to uh, medium it's pretty good I didn't see those features when I was using the UFI app um, in my other videos I showed you guys so if you want a siren so that's where I think you uh, check this uh, spotlight linkage the vehicle detection piece is really good and it also have if you want to flip the image and going to settings it has the advanced setting I would say so currently I have the cloud plan the alarm settings which we talked about and also the SD card oh SD card and also the cloud service uh, you have my cloud service yes although I did uh, enable the 30-day free trial it's not showing up here not sure why but let's disconnect uh, open it up maybe it didn't recognize it okay going back to the SD card the cloud still is showing I don't have any service that's that's strange and that's the plan it should give me the 30-day free trial it but it didn't also the other thing I'm seeing the intelligent detection to use you need to subscribe to the cloud service all right what why it's not showing here so it, if you don't have this so you won't be able to do the human vehicle detection but in here it's just showing the human and the vehicle detection so that's something I have to figure out other than that uh, the camera info the Wi-Fi settings uh, only reason I got it it's 2.4 and 5 gigahertz I was having really bad problem with UV uh, camera system and if you want to use um, on if uh, for your uh, Synology and third-party integration you can check that which I need you want the security settings the light settings if you want to use the spotlight or the infrared LED lights and also flipping the screen the speaker volume and all that stuff all right so that's pretty much it and uh, from the hardware side let's see how it works when we have it outside so right now it's uh, okay which camera actually detected let's see okay that's me when I was putting the, the camera okay let's see so that's the view of my backyard it it does say it has a colored night night vision I don't know how to turn that on I just got it today so let's see if we can find anything light setting are your light setting on let's try it now hmm. I don't see 
the color and the optical zoom it's six x optical zoom this is pretty good so i'm able to see even at night much much better than the uv camera i had trust me if you are spending that money there i would highly encourage i i tried a couple of cameras before i bought this one but so far i'm really liking this no uh disconnection and light setting let's turn it back to the auto switch all right so this is i have for the Fuscam v5 p cameras i hope you like that i really like that give it a thumbs up and uh, thank you for watching